So the other day I was giving an assignment to my classroom. I wanted them to work in groups, I wanted them to stay on task, and I wanted to make sure that they had enough work to do at home so they can come in the next day and present in class. I wasn't exactly sure what to do, and then it hit me. I can create a book widgets project using Google Classroom and assign it to them. And that's exactly what we're gonna learn today on EdTech in the Classroom. Hello everybody, my name is Jeff Bradbury and welcome back to EdTech in the Classroom. I am so excited that not only is the school year getting started, but there are so many new things available for our classroom when it comes to digital learning tools. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Google Classroom and a brand new feature in Google Classroom called Google Classroom Add-ons. These are brand new features in Classroom that allow you to hook up with some of your favorite ed tech tools. And today we're gonna to learn how Google Classroom and book widgets can be used to create a simple planner that you can use in your student's room today. Book widgets offers teachers more than 40 different digital exercise templates ranging from self-graded quizzes to interactive maps to even a dynamic digital whiteboard that is quickly accessible on any mobile device, laptop, or desktop computer. Let's jump in today. So here we are in Google Classroom, and you can see that I have one class here for a teacher named Teresa. And the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna open up Teresa's class, and we're gonna wanna go over to the Classwork tab, and we're gonna create a brand new assignment. Now, when we do that, we're gonna notice that under Assignments, we have a brand new button here for the Google Classroom add-on for book widgets. And I'm gonna click on it right here. So from here, you'll see that book widgets has opened up a menu. And what we wanna do now is we wanna either choose a widget that we've already created or create a new one. And because today we're gonna to be creating a brand new checklist for our students to keep on task for this project, we're gonna come down here to examples and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom where we're going to find Planner. This is a great widget that's going to allow us to make sure that our students are on task and they can actually help create this planner with you so that way they know all the different things that they need to do to make sure that their project is successful. I'm going to click show and you notice here's an example. I've got my title, I've got a nice icon, and I've got a whole mess of things here that the students are going to be able to do and they can of course check things off. So let's customize that and to do so we're going to come down here to the bottom and we're gonna make a copy and it's gonna place this widget in our account. So the next thing that we wanna do is organize and we wanna create our planner. So over here under title, we're gonna name our project. Now under category colors, we can choose to make this as colorful as we want. And you can see here, we've got categories one through eight. And if we click on here, we can make this any color that we want. And that's a really neat feature to have. The next thing down is we're gonna say the initial task. And these are the tasks that we have right now, tasks one through seven. I'm gonna change these a little to correspond with our homework assignment. So here we are, we've created our initial tasks, taking notes, joining a group, organizing the tasks, assigning the tasks to individual students, completing the assigned tasks, coming to school prepared to share, and of course, presenting to class. Let's click on this and under here we have advanced we're gonna be able to do a few different things with this planner. Number one, do we wanna allow students to reorder the tasks? Let's say yes. Allow students to insert tasks. I like that one a lot. Allow students to define new tasks. Great, we might wanna add things to it and allow students to delete tasks. I'm not gonna check this one. I wanna make sure that our students are having everything at their fingertips and I don't want them to have the opportunity to delete anything that I've already created. Next thing I have my instructions and I'm going to say instructions and I'll write my instructions in here today. Okay, so here we are. It says please complete these tasks in class today so your group can present in class tomorrow. Next we have our save and restore answers. I want to make sure that this is checked off and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click on the preview button. So here we are with my homework project planner. Again, you can see how easy this is to create. It automatically pops up my instructions here to complete the tasks today. So your group can present in class tomorrow. You'll notice here I have all of my planner tasks. I can also reorder these if I need to. 
I can check on, check off. I can use this plus button up here to add items so I can always add additional lists. I can even change the pictures. I can change the colors I need to. One of the neat things I like about book widgets is the ability to design in multiple platforms. So here if I want, I can see what this looks like on a small screen. I can see what this looks like on a portrait screen, landscape, portrait. No matter what it is, you have the opportunity to create an amazing learning experience for your students and have it be able to be shared no matter what platform they are using. You can even click print and you can have a printable version of this. I'm going to click on this X here because I like the way that this looks. I'm going to finalize this and give this as an assignment in Google Classroom. All right, so before we hit the button to actually bring this into Google Classroom, there's a few things that I didn't mention that I'd like to bring in right now. You'll notice that up here on the top left, it says business meeting. This was the default. If I click over here on the pencil, I can change this to my classroom project planner. I can even add a description for group homework assignment. And now I've got that stuck in here. You'll notice how easy it is. We have our about tab, our general tab. We've got these predefined tasks to make sure that everything is good. And we've even got this localization if you want to change a few of the more technical aspects of this. And also we can change a little bit of the design from vertical to horizontal. And we can even add a cover image. We can take care of that, of course, in a later video. But I'm done with this. I want to now make this into an assignment in Google Classroom. I'm going to click on choose. And of course, here we are back in Google Classroom. You'll notice that I've added a title called Group Presentation Assignment and Instructions, and I am all ready to hit that assignment button up on the top right. So as you can see, Book Widgets is a fantastic tool to be able to use in your classroom. And the fact that it's now part of the Google Classroom add-ons package just makes it that much more valuable. If you have any questions about Book Widgets, head on over to bookwidgets.com. And of course, you can check out all the links on this blog post and video below in the YouTube or over on teachercast.net. So that wraps up this video tutorial all about book widgets in Google Classroom. On behalf of everybody here at TeacherCast, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classroom and continue sharing your passions with your students.